me and a cute girl like a, what you saying <clears throat> so <clears throat> so what i'm understanding something went down I actually do not know what the hell this is. Oh my god. Wait, that's actually pretty that's actually pretty useful. I didn't know I already ate. Makes I like harder target than anything. Okay, so these two are awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job. Let's go. What's up? On the map. On the map? On the map? Yeah, dang, like the whole map? I have abilities, I have other things. I had a thing that I could drink. Items. 
build a plus 10 as I can't do that. I'm not too sure. Well, hello. Wait, wait, wait. This dude's spitting a whole lot of facts. I didn't expect that. Jessica's spells have elemental attributes like fire, water, weapons, and armor can also have elemental attributes. Uh, yeah. The flame source in this village, for example, has been embedded with fire. And only of these items have positive attributes such as doubling or taking damage. But some have negative attributes and can be cancelled out by the positive ones. Carefully combining the right equipment your last component. Hello. Celine, what are you doing here? That's a funny thing to ask. This is the village where I live. Oh, I didn't know that. But enough about me. You've arrived at our time of greatest need. What do you mean? Please, have a seat and we'll explain everything. Elder, I am familiar with this swordsman. He's a powerful fighter to have on our side. Ah, oh, wonderful. A sign that luck has smiled upon us. Um, you still haven't told me what's going on yet, Celine. Please, allow me to explain. Yes, Father. Sometime last evening, Every child in the village simply vanished, as if they were rubbed out of existence. As we scrambled to form a search party, this man here came back from the Forest of Symbols with a disturbing message. Yeah, fuck that guy. So I was by myself in the forest at the time, uh, practicing my like symbology. Then all yeah, of a sudden, a bandit appeared yeah, before me. I steeled myself for battle, but he simply stood there and told me this before he disappeared into the woods. Our boss has your children. If you want them back, bring us 500,000 foal and the secret book. What's this secret book he's talking about? We cannot reveal specifics but it is a book that describes the unique form of symbology passed down through the generations in this village. When we heard the story, we were all at a loss as to what to do. Not only did we learn that our children were kidnapped, but that bandits were encroaching on the forest of symbols. The forest has been protected for ages by holy symbols etched into the land itself, repulsing the wicked and evil-hearted. If they have broken through that barrier, then we must face a dire reality. Our enemy is more powerful than any that has come before. So what about the children? According to a second messenger, the children are being held by the bandits deep inside the forest. He said that until we fulfill their demands, they'll stay exactly where they are. We don't know anything else about the children. The Forest of Symbols is a special training ground for us symbologists. Furthermore, its landscape and terrain make it a natural fortress difficult to penetrate. If it were simply a pack of bandits we were dealing with, it would take no more than a small team to dispatch them. But the lives of our children are at stake. We can ill afford to make any rash moves. They may be simple bandits, but they have proven at least strong enough to break the barrier protecting the Forest of Symbols. 
Their defeat would mean nothing if the children were to be caught in the carnage. So there's pretty much nothing we can do. We haven't been sitting here simply twiddling our thumbs. One of our search team has already discovered the location of the bandit hideout. With that information in hand, all we need now is a way to rescue the children. Oh, so you're set then? We are, but as I mentioned earlier, we fear that to act by ourselves would prove to be insufficient. Fate has brought us a master swordsman. We thought we could ask him to join us in our rescue effort. Diaz? Reyna? You know this man, Reyna? Yes, we come from the same village. Is this the swordsman you're talking about? That he is. There are few fighting men in this world who haven't heard the name Dias Flack. You have nothing to worry about then. Dias is the strongest swordsman in the world. <laughs> Actually, he could kill the whole the group by himself. Right Dias has agreed to our request. He said it would make a good warm up for the upcoming Lacour Armory contest. Really? But I have to say, his conditions are a tad unreasonable. How so? He wants to go in by himself, without anybody else helping him. I have trouble swallowing that part myself. If we are going to rely on the whims of an outsider, surely we must assign some guards to him at the very least. Oh no, you can totally trust Diaz. I know him really well. He's an honest man, and as a fighter, no one can even come close. I prefer to have someone more experienced than you to speak on his behalf, young lady. Call me what you will, but I don't really feel like babysitting a bunch of people who are going to be nothing but a burden to me. Of all the rude things to say, didn't you hear what I said? I said that it was time for me to show off the fruits of my training. This isn't a game, kid. But it is. If I team up with someone who thinks it is, we're doomed to fail. I'm done here. If you need me, I'll be back at the inn. Oh, you think he's right, don't you? Let me tell you, Father. I'm going to save those kids whether you like it or not. I know how you feel, Celine, but... Besides, there's more than one swordsman here in the village. Reyna. I have yet to see hide nor hair of Reyna. I guess she's still visiting with Diaz. Do you really think he wants to take all of them on by himself? Sure looks that way to me. He's certainly confident enough of his chances anyway. Ugh. What could the Elder be thinking? I cannot believe he still wants that person to do this. Come on, Claude. Let's give him a piece of our mind. Uh, okay. What? Aren't you interested? I've already convinced my father. You're late. Did that man do something to you? Listen, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but I want to have Diaz join our group. What are you talking about? I asked Diaz and he promised me that he would fight alongside us. Well, it only makes sense that he'd listen to the cute girl next door instead of everyone else. That wasn't the issue here. I'm telling you, he's a first-class swordsman. He'd be a huge asset to us out there. What do you think, Claude? He said he could do it all by himself. What's the point of having him along, then? How could you say something like that? Well, it's true, isn't I mean, it? He's literally been Besides, just me and you fighting this really whole time. Need him? I mean, before that, it was just me. I saved you. What the fuck do you mean you're not gonna say that? Because like, somebody wanna do it by himself? Fucking let him do it by himself. I don't know him for shit he did. What the fuck? Huh. 
Well, I guess I'm going with Diaz then. Reyna. Why'd you go in the hole of the train to save Maybe the whole place? Maybe you don't need him, Claude, but, but I do. He's not trying to save the whole world. He's not discovering shit of me, or is he? He's out doing his own shit. Oh, well. Fuck out of here. Let her do what she wants. The plan is set to go underway tomorrow. We should make any preparations we need and return to the Elder's house. So what? You don't need me? So bitch, you would literally probably be like dead or some weird or shit right now. If I didn't save you from the monkey or that fucking dude, Alan. <laughs> like, Diaz was not here. Diaz has his own backstory shit, so I kind of understand why he's not. He wasn't in the village. But it's also like, you, you, the way, they're both young. Well, she's, she's like two years younger than him, so they're not really, you can't really differentiate their ages. But it's like, yeah, she definitely. Remember, the safety of the children is the number one priority in this operation. Do not forget that. We'll keep guard in the village while you're gone, sir. And don't you get into any trouble either. Understand? Of course not. Right, Claude? Claude? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Listen, don't you think we should have had them along, too? If they wanted us, they would have waited for us. I suppose they just have their own way of doing things. No, it's not a thing. I mean, literally, really Surely really, they're planning to take all the credit by getting a head start really on us. Kind of just a side... Like, this isn't a race, Celine. Really if you do run into stuff. them in the forest, I want you all to she work really together. She would have in the village, actually. Yes, of course, Elder. Who's going to do the rest of the stuff? You'll need the these boots to cross the bog the inside guy. the forest. Otherwise, I mean, parts she... of it will be totally impassable. Yeah, most of what she says is could have been literally somebody else could have told us this stuff. Thank you very much, Elder. Or Matt. So my, uh, we will map, have good actually. news for you when we return. I promise. Look at you, Claude. Still stuck on what Raina said before. Huh? Time to get on with it. Can't have Raina and that guy get all the glory now, can we? I don't need you to remind me. walk through this swamp oh of course we can what about our mud shoes oh right we can do this we can handle this ha, ha! Da! oh it's these guys again da! Got you! that was easier than i thought We can 
can handle. Ha! Yeah! Yeah! That was easier than I thought. the money <laughs> doesn't look like you brought us Jack you've got it wrong there what do you mean you'll see after I beat you down what's that They put up more of a fight than I thought. Don't tell me you've had enough already. You kidding me? It's you! You're the guys who've been messing with us! Somehow, I feel like I should be the one that's saying that. Hope you realize that you're putting your kids' lives in danger. How about you start worrying about your own lives first? They meant Reyna and Diaz early? That's what I would guess. You worried about them? You kidding me? We can handle this. We can handle this. Da! Yeah! Da! Ha! Da! Well, I'd that say that's worth easy. 10 out of 10. One for us. 
I just figured out something new. Party's over, kids. We've had enough of your crap. We can't be causing that much trouble. They must be your friends. And you're gonna pay for them. The clause was the stupidest line ever. We don't have any friends. One for us. What kind of crap could Reyna and Diaz be pulling out here? Don't look at me. you are what aren't you supposed to be guarding the elders house I've taken care of things over there so I thought I'd go into the forest have you found the children well I hope so so all the bandits have been tracked down and killed then oh not at all huh in fact they've never been healthier what are you trying to say the only person getting killed around here is your father. My father? You, you didn't! You put far too much trust in your friends. It was a trifling matter to disguise myself as one of your friends and steal the book. You're the boss of the bandits. How dare you lay hands on my father? You fiend! Taking advantage of us. I'm gonna make you pay for this. So be it. Allow me to reveal my true self. We can handle this. Just Love some the one in the middle. Ah! Pulverize ah! That was easier than I thought. Stone. It looks like the one Alan had. Celine, let's get back to the village. I'm worried about Egress. No. The safety of the children is our first priority. Celine! I don't want anyone else to die today. Wouldn't saving the children be the one thing to do in order to prevent that from happening? Celine. Claude! Reyna! What is that? The symbologist that was at the Elder's house. The real him, that is. That was the bandit's boss, wasn't it? What are you doing here, Reyna? We just rescued the children from the house they were being held in. Really? Yes, 
stuff right there in the background. You took this guy by yourself? That's right. With some help from Celine, of course. I see. Reyna wasn't lying after all. What do you mean? The day we cross swords may not be so far away. I look forward to it. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. You probably wouldn't be a drag on me after all. What's he talking about, Reyna? Diaz. Time is of the essence. We must return to the village. You're right. I hope Egress is all right. He had taken several powerful spells at point-blank range. It'd be a miracle if he opens his eyes again. I'm sure he'll recover if Reyna gets to him in time. Ah, oh, yes, with her healing spells. Hmm, indeed. Such power is unheard of in our village. Egress has regained consciousness. Oh, has he? I think he'll be fine once he gets some rest. Well then, I'll go see how he's doing. So that symbologist was the real culprit all along. There was no way for us to know since he disguised himself as one of the victims. I'm really impressed though. You defeated the bandit boss all by yourself. Not by myself. Celine was the key to the whole thing. Uh, even so, Diaz... I'm sure his skills are still way beyond anything I have. That's the impression I get, anyway. Claude? It's easy to lash out against someone, but it's hard to accept them as an equal. If he was praising me, even just a little, that just means he's that much better than I am with a sword. I think I'm starting to understand what you... S why right, do you have to be that way, Claude? I don't, Diaz is like is the big just, brother I never had. You're weird. getting the wrong idea, and I don't like it. <clears throat> like, I guess, like, again, this could be chucked up to me being kids, but it's like, it's like the author kind of wanted to make an emotional moment or situation, and it's just bad. Because Claude is like, like, literally went from, oh, he can do it by himself. Well, all right, then, you know, and, um, literally saying, we don't have friends. And then, to, I think I see what you're seeing in <laughs> oh, really? We're here right now because we're investigating the sorcery globe, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? Let's do some whole entire different planet too, so... Yeah, yeah. Reyna. What? That stone that Alan had with him. Never mind. I Why hope you find you your tell mother. Her? I hope you find your mother. What does this have to do with the source? You're supposed to be talking. You're supposed to be trying to figure out the shit about the sorcery globe. Like, literally, she just talked about it. Now the stone. And it's like, okay, so I'm guessing this is supposed to be the emotional thing. That this is why. This is why I kept calling Claude stupid. Because it's like, what? What? And now that I'm older, I was like, oh, it's bad writing. <laughs> Thank you. planning to leave without even saying goodbye? That wasn't exactly what we intended, but... That's not so different from Diaz, is it? Well, we can't afford to spend too much time here. The sun's just about ready to set. Why don't you stay over for the night? I need to repay you two for all that you've done. Are you sure it's okay? Oh, come on. 
Are you forgetting that you two are the heroes of the day? Heroes, huh? Of course. To whom are we going to express our gratitude if you two just run off like this? Diaz didn't say where he was going, did he? I think you'll find him soon enough. He may not like dealing with others, but he causes chaos everywhere he goes, regardless. True. <laughs> now then, you two are going back to my place. Come on, come on! Thank you. That was wonderful. Oh, not at all. I'm just happy you enjoyed it. Are you feeling all right? Fit as a fiddle. And it's all thanks to Reyna. By the way, I hear you're on your way to Harley. That's correct. We intend to travel across the sea to Lacour and find passage there to the land of El. The land of El? Is there a problem? I heard where you're going over dinner. You're after the sorcery globe, aren't you? Yes. Could I ask you for your thoughts on the Sorcery Globe, Egris? This is just my personal opinion, but I believe it might be some form of energy entity. Energy entity? Yes. And if that were the case, then perhaps whatever energy it's emitting is affecting all the animals in the area and turning them into monsters. Does energy work like that? Well, it's just one of many possibilities. Do you have any other thoughts? I suppose the easiest explanation is that it's simply a normal meteorite. But that doesn't really explain all the phenomena we've had in the ensuing weeks. Are you sure you want to proceed into L immediately after landing on Makur? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. What do you mean, Father? Why wouldn't it be? You're working on far too little information right now. My suggestion would be to gather more intelligence in the Kur before traveling to El. There's a fine line between courage and recklessness. Do you understand? Certainly. That sounds like a good idea. Well, you're leaving early tomorrow, right? Best get to bed soon. I can smell something whenever you're around. Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't bathed lately. No, no, that's not what I meant. I suppose it's my symbologist's instincts kicking in, but I'm starting to understand why everyone thought you were the hero. Oh, not at all, Egris. I'm nowhere near the all-powerful hero people think that I am. It's just that, you know, Reyna and Celine are giving their all out there every day. I'd feel bad if I didn't try at least as hard as they do. Reyna and Celine. I personally would have stopped at Reyna. Oh, uh... <laughs> I think you're much more than you think you are. That power of Reyna's doesn't bother you at all, and that's the way it should be. Well, I'd better not keep you up any longer. 
You should get some sleep for the trip tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks for seeing us off like this. You have been a great help to me. Accompanying you to the village outskirts is the least I can do. Well, time to get going. Take care of yourselves on the road. If El looks too dangerous, I don't want you to risk your lives. Please be careful. If things are looking too dangerous, don't think twice about turning back. Don't worry, I've got Claude with me. That's true. Where do you think we should aim for after landing on Lacour? Lacour Kingdom should be your first stop, I suppose. It's the biggest country on the continent. You'll be able to find all the latest information, not to mention a wider selection of weapons. I just remembered. There's something in Lacour I want you to do for me. What is it? Could you ask one of the linguists in Linga to decipher this book for me?